Good Tuesday morning. Glad to be with you today. And we're looking at 1 Peter chapter 5. And we come to this very important verse when it, uh, in verse 8 where Peter writes, Be sober and be alert. He says, uh, Your adversary, the devil, prowls like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. And then he goes on to say, resist him. Let's think about that for just a moment. Uh, you know, there are a lot of debates about the spirit of evil and whether evil is a being. Well, the Bible doesn't even debate that. It just assumes that and declares it as a truth. There is a devil and he comes against us. He's our adversary. He stands against us. He, uh, he, he falsely accuses us. He's a slanderer uh, to us. He makes us, he discourages us when he can. He's an aid in, the, in fulfilling the lust of our flesh. He's an aid in that. He's an aid in when we choose to be angry without cause and bitter uh, and not get over that and unforgiving. He aids that process. He really does. And he's a roaring lion seeking to devour anybody he can. And there's no greater target for him and all of his minions uh, than a believer, than a, than a Christian like you and me. And we have to be aware of him, uh, not overly concerned about him because we're covered in the blood of Christ. He can't harm us. Uh, he, you know, he, he, can, he can do ill by lying to us if we believe his lies, but uh, that's it. He's prowling like a lion, seeking people that he can devour, someone to devour. He's relentless. You know, a lion, when uh, uh, he or she is hungry, prowls about until there's food to, to be had. And that's the same way with the devil. In our weakness, sometimes when we're physically tired, emotionally overwrought, uh, in deep grief or distress, suffering from uh, illness or disease, that's a prime time for the devil to come and lie to us, saying that we're no good, God doesn't care, uh, he, he's never cared, he's not going to get us out of the mess that we're in, and over and over and over. The Bible calls the devil the father of lies and a murderer. The, the end goal for the devil in your life and my life and every life is to get us to end our life because his only true weapon is death. And we've overcome him by the blood of Jesus Christ and we need to be understanding. We need to be sober about this and we need to be relentlessly alert knowing that he's going to come against us. Now tomorrow we're going to look at how to resist the devil, how to fight off his attack, fiend off his attacks, if you will, and be victorious through the, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the cross, the blood, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and the gift of the Holy Spirit uh, in our lives. It's just something to be aware of. But let's be sober and alert because we have an adversary, an accuser, someone who falsely accuses us and slanders us and comes against us to lie to us, hoping that we will believe his lies if it were the truth, so we can set up a stronghold in our life and then control our minds, our wills, and our emotions. He can't do it because we're in the blood of Jesus Christ, under the blood of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, thank you that you have pointed out very clearly the ways of our adversary. And thank you, Jesus, for defeating him by your life on earth, your death, burial, and resurrection, and the power you've given us to share in that victory. For it's in his name, your name, we always pray. Amen.